Matthew chapter number 13 verse number 24 to verse number 30. Another parable he put forth to them saying, The kingdom of God is like a man who sowed good seed in his field, but while he slept, the enemy came and sowed tears, tears among the wheat and went his way. But when the, ga but when the grain had sprouted and, and produced a crop, then the tears, the tears also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did we not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tears? He said to them, An enemy, an enemy has done this. The servants said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them up? But he said, No, lest while you gather up the tears, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, first gather together the tears and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Somebody say amen. Father, we thank you because of your word. We pray that this word that is limitless, this word that is expounder, this word that is sharper than any double-edged sword, this word that is powerful, this word that is unlimited, this word that cannot be governed, this word that is so powerful that it can penetrate to our, through our lives. We pray tonight, let your word have its way in our lives. We bless you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, we ask that you may take residence in this place. We bless you and we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody shout, Amen. 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 Put your hands together for Jesus. And you may have your seats in the presence of God. In Jesus' name. Let me begin with two statements. Number one, if you want to understand God, you have to be him. If you want to understand God, you will have to be him. What do I mean? People want to understand God, but the problem is we want to lower God and reduce him to our reasoning so that we may be able to understand him. And he is much more beyond minds, my, the, the mind of man. Because most of the time we want to understand God. We want to relate to the life of today. Then we put God into that category. And after Nasema, I want to understand God through my situation. God is far much above and beyond human capacity to even think of who he is. If you really want to understand God, you will have to become God for you to understand him. You will never understand God fully. You can only understand the way he works, his works and his ways in your life. But if you want to understand God generally, you will miss God. To understand God, you only understand God through a personal encounter with him. Somebody say amen. Jesus says the kingdom of God is like Ananza hii parable na kusamea kwamba the kingdom of God is like it is not the kingdom but the kingdom of God is like God resembles Jesus resembles the kingdom of God to this particular illustration it is like a farmer who goes he goes into the garden and they begin building and I mean they begin planting into the garden now Jesus resembles it and says the kingdom of God is like it is a metaphor and the Holy Spirit came down with tongues like fire the Holy Spirit came down and rested upon Jesus like a dove it does not mean the dove is Jesus it does not mean the tongues of fire are the Holy Spirit it means it is like so Jesus comes and wants us to understand what the kingdom is like somebody say amen 
What is the kingdom of God like? It is not like the way me and you think. It is all about the streets of gold. The kingdom of God is like. What is it like? It is like when a farmer goes and puts down on the ground a seed. Somebody say a seed. Somebody say a seed. Because most of the time, we go before the Lord and tell the Lord, Father, give me this and give me that and give me that. God does not actually give you what you want. God gives you a seed because he knows what you want is in the seed. When you ask God for a tree, he does not give you a tree. He gives you a seed because he knows the, the tree is in the seed. So God thinks in things in seed form. That is why he says the kingdom of God is like a farmer who goes to the garden or goes to the shamba and then puts down a, a seed. Now, I want you to understand everything you are looking for and everything you pray to God for, God will only respond with a seed. But we human beings, we stop looking at the seed and begin looking for the tree. But actually God does not respond with the tree. God responds with the seed. There is something God has handed over to you and until you understand the way God thinks, you will never get what God gives you. You will never understand what God gives you until you understand how God thinks. Na mungu huwaka anafikiria in seed form. Anaka anangalia, what do you want? Because mwanamke akisema baba nipe mtoto, hakuhamkagi asubuhi anapata mtoto juu ya kitanda. Lazima kuna process, alafu mbegu inawekwa ndani, baadaye mtoto anatokea 9 months later. Lakini wa Kristo wa siku hizi tunataka tuombe leo na muujiza utoke kesho. Hakuna mbegu upandwa leo inatokea kesho. Mbegu inapandwa alafu unapatia wakati baadaye mavuna yanatokea. Somebody say amen. So God thinks in a seed form. That is how God operates and that is how God thinks. The kingdom of God is like a seed. It is, when, like, it is like when a man goes to the garden and goes to the ground and puts down a seed. So, I want you to understand, God answered you long time ago. But because you prayed for a tree, you are waiting for a, for a tree to come. And God give you the seed. He is waiting for you to put the seed to the ground so that the tree may come forth. He did it long time ago. It is just to be that we did not understand how the kingdom of God operates. God thinks in seed form. Ukitaka kujua niko serious alikaa kaangalia Adam akona Adam wale bado hujafika au hauna furaha hauna kile unatafuta what do you want ili bidi afanye Adam alale it was the first time Adam anaingia kwa usingizi ndio Mungu atoe mbegu ndani yake Adam hako melala before ili bidi alale ndio mbegu itolewe mbavu moja ndio akiamka aone because that is the only way God operates there must be a seed you are looking for your answer instead of looking for your answer look for your seed now nikisema seed sio hii yenye mmezoea every time mhubiri akisimama aseme seed unafikiria tu kuhusu pesa no i'm talking about the thing that god has put in your life that when you begin working upon it that is when you begin producing in your life because anything that produces there must be an intercourse kama ujui intercourse ina maanisha lazima kuwa na kitu kingine na patana na ingine. somebody say amen ndio mtoto atoke lazima mwanamke na mwanamke na mwanaume wapatane na lazima mkuu mnaweza mkapatana because saa hii generation imebadilika wanawake wanataka kuoa wanawake wanaume wanataka kuoa wanaume hawa watu wawili wakioana the same gender hakuna kitu inaweza kutokea god put the opposite of sex so that when you come together in intercourse you may produce something so god has given you something that's not, that does not look like you so that when you come together and be together you will always produce what you are looking for the problem is you want what looks like you and what looks like you cannot bring anything forth you need to look for something that is different from you so that when you get into intercourse something is born out of the two of you 
So there must be the seed and the ground. When the seed comes into contact with the ground, there is an intercourse. When this intercourse happens, there is a plant that grows that brings the harvest. So where is your seed? And the Mungu anasema, I answered long time ago. The problem is, we are looking for a finished product and God is waiting for us to put the seed to the ground. Somebody say amen. amen. You are waiting for a finished product and God is waiting for you to put the seed to the ground. If I may go deeper, let me say it this way. Every man or every woman who has been in marriage or is in marriage, you will understand this. The reason some of the marriages fail, it is because you thought you married a, you married a finished product. My friend, you married a byproduct. You married a raw material. That from this raw material, you will get what you're looking for. And when you are dating, you understand, can this raw material give me what I want? Because raw material ya kutengeneza plastic, na raw material ya kutengeneza tissue paper, hazifanani. Mutaseme amen. Hasa wewe ukiowa, ulikona kau naona, ni kama, ni kona kila kitu, my friend. Hiyo ni raw material. Na hiyo ndiyo seed mungu wa mekupatia. If you want, what you, if you, if you are looking for what you want, you have the raw material with you, you have the seed with you. The moment you understand this is the raw material, and this is the seed, you will work and get what you are looking for. The reason you, 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 you might be a politician and you are not getting into becoming a politician. It is because you are surrounding yourself with folks who do not even understand what politics is. Ni kwa sababu wa kristo tukon, ni kubalini nisema hivi, utoto. Umesike vile ni maisema? Si utoto, utoto. Ni miunga kapa mtoto ndi we understand. Wewe umeka hapa. And your man who can understand, unezafanya a lot of things zina fail. It is because this is not your line. You do not have the capability to produce with what you are having intercourse with. Why? Because you do not understand. I am a seed that is supposed to produce something great. But the problem is, I am having intercourse with the wrong seed. That's a woman kaapo, ikumutame kaapo, the director. Juzi ni menda CID, headquarters. Nika kutana na jamaa kan salimi ya kanambia bwana siwe mchungaji. Nika ambia amen. Haka ita jamaa mwengine kuja. Haka kuja. Haka sema huyu ni pasta wangu. Nika shindwa ala. Pasta wako. Kumbe kuna watu wakubo kuja eh. Ok. Kumbe ala. Kumbe. Na nika gundua. Ah. Hapa. Iku watu nakuja kwa kutupima. Lakini wacha ni kuambia ukweli leo. You will only become great when you understand the seed that you carry in you. You will only become great when you understand the seed that God releases in your life. Because you will only become great when the seed in you is put to the ground and then grows. Somebody say amen. And today, I want you to understand the kingdom of God is like, like what? It is like a farmer who goes to the garden and then puts down a seed to the ground. Step number one, put down your seed. Put it to the ground. You will never get anything until the seed is in the ground. Nilifunzo na baba yangu. Ukiubiri wa nyamaze. Ndiyo inaingia. Na hiyo sasa ndiyo reality nataka tukue nao. Somebody say amen. Because understand, we may be the same listening to the same word, but we are listening to the same preaching, but everyone is going to live with a different word. There is someone who's come here, na sahi, ukwata tayari kwa na nyumbani, because unajua umechezea mbegu yako, endo ifanyishe kazi. Somebody say amen. amen. You only need to put it to the ground, then give it some time, then you will see it grow. Somebody say amen. The kingdom of God is like a farmer who goes and puts the seed to the ground. The kingdom of God. You ni yesu anaongea. Ufalmu wa mungu ni kama nini? Wewe unajua ufalmu wa mungu na vitu kidogo sana. Ati tafuteni ufalmu wa mungu kwanza na utakatifu. Unajua ufalmu na utakatifu peke yake. 
Ndio maana ukikuja church unakujaga tu baba naomba nipe naomba nibariki naomba lakini sasa Mungu anaku challenge anakuambia relax wacha nikufunze leo ufalme wa Mungu ni kama nini ni kama mbegu ni kama mpanzi anaenda kwenye shamba anaweka mbegu kwenye kwenye udongo somebody say amen because when the when, when the seed is in the ground alafu anasemea kwamba and when he plants the seed they go to sleep they go to sleep somebody say amen when they go to sleep the enemy comes and plants tears now you begin wondering is sleep a wrong thing sleep is not a wrong thing everybody who does anything or your maana must get tired anyone who does anything that is that, that is tangible they must get tired but people who do nothing they get frustrated so understand are you tired or frustrated because if you do nothing unasemaga hey leo nimechoka umefanya nini imagine kuna nimechoka tu hivyo hiyo sio kuchoka hiyo ni kukuwa frustrated but anyone who works hard anyone who does anything tangible a time comes they get tired and they need to go and rest and resting is not a crime you need to rest so that you may come and because when you go to rest ni kama ni mwili ina recharge because it recharge you are waiting to produce again the next day kila mtu hapa usiku ukifika unaenda unaweka simu yako kwa charge by the time inafika asubuhi you can make a hundred calls because iko at 100% now everybody ukilala you are getting ready to produce on the next day so kulala sio hatia kulala ni kupumzika somebody say amen so ni vizuri ulale vizuri ulale kama mtoto because kutolala tena ni laana somebody say amen na kulala iko na iko na masharti ukilala between 6 and 8 hours uko sawa kama umejipanga ukilala between 8 and 10 hours tunaelewa you are lazy between 10 and 12 you are in a coma between 12 kuendelea mbele you are about to die or dead kwa hivyo si ati lala ah ah pumzika somebody say amen so mpanzi the king, no nasikia ni mungu anasema the kingdom of god is like It is like like what every statement yes ana sema hapa makes some sense a, 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 the kingdom of god is like a farmer who goes and puts seed to the ground then when they are through they go and sleep and then the enemy comes and plants tears everything good you do there will be an enemy that will rise Every level you go to there will always be a new devil that will arise. So if you are doing anything good get ready for a new devil to come. But as much as the devil is there the grace of God is sufficient for you to deal with the good thing that you are doing and to deal with the devil that has risen. Somebody say amen. Because we, we listen that kind of devil you deal with tells people the kind of level you are in if you do not deal with any devil you are in not you are not in any level i repeat if you do not deal with any devil you are not in any level because wo kidania kwamba kuoa ndio solution unakuja unagundua ukioa kuna pepo iko hapo inagogojea kuna shida zingine huna ukiwa peke yako uko tu sawa macho mbili umeona dada mmoja ukamuona na ukapenda saa zile umeoa pepo nyingine inainuka inakuonesha kuna dada wengine wangapi hasa ndio unakuja unagundua ala sasa siatu wewe you are not evil no it is a seed that has grown and now tears have come you are not evil you are not negative you are not adulterous but this is a demon that is there what do you do at this point a 
understand this is like the kingdom of God. Somebody say amen. Imagine in heaven. In heaven. Heaven. Hey. Heaven. My brothers and sisters, heaven. All splendor and all glory. God on the throne. Angels praising. But still, Lucifer arose with pride. Kama binguni, pepo ilitokea. Uona uliza nini kusumaisha yako? What are you asking? Now, the fact that Lucifer appeared in heaven with pride does not disqualify God from becoming God. The fact that Shetani, because devil is different, Lucifer was his heavenly name. So, Lucifer in heaven, pride in a ingia, akiwa binguni, siya kiwa pa dunia, akiwa binguni, in the presence of God the Holy One. Bado kiburi na inuka. Na inabidi ya tupochini. Sami na kuuliza. Kama pepo ya kiburi ineza inuka, binguni, in the presence of God. Wewe ambaye unaishi umoja, Unauliza hii pepo imetoka wapi Sino na kuambia leo Ni kama tu ufalme wa binguni Hivyo ndo kuna kuwaga New levels, new devils <laughs> Hey Somebody say amen In your reality ina kusaidia Una understand There is nothing wicked about you Because the devil wants you to see How wicked you are And how weak you are And how evil you are But the truth is The seed is growing But now there are tears Ambazo zimetokea And Jesus says The kingdom of God is like So meaning Hata ukiwa na biashara Hato ukiandikuwa kazi Na we ni dada na unapendeza Ama we ni ndugu na ukusawa Na uone bibi ya potifa na kufuata Wata kusema kuna shetani Ina ningililia Haiku ingilili ina ingili, ina, Imekuja because kuna mbegu nzuri Imepandwa The devil does not come to a bad seed The devil comes to a good seed I am trying to make you understand you are not wicked as the devil translates it or as the religious people translate it. Ati because umepatikana kwa hii kashva inakaani kama wewe ni aa hiyo ni levo mpya. Alafu sasa kuna pepo mpya. Somebody say amen. That's a easy lazima zikuwe hapo sasa. Wewe uko hapa alafu hii pepo iko hapa. Hasa watu wakikawa angalie wanakuona yes lakini pia wanaona kuna ka weakness mahali bado sahau the kingdom of god is like inafanana tu na wewe kabisa ni wewe huja understand you are like the kingdom of god now how do you understand it how do we deal with this i will tell you how we deal with them amen wameenda wamelala shetani amekuja akapanda magugu karibu na mbegu I mark my words, good seed, not just any seed, good seed, like you. Baadae, sazilo liya mkasubui, wafanyikazi wakenda kuangalia, wakarudi wakambia boss, ni yesu wana explain parable, haka wambia listen, and when the workers went to the field and saw the tears, they came back to the owner and said to him, master, the seeds we grew yesterday, there are tears right back next to them. Then Jesus says to them, the owner or the master said to them, if you go and uproot the tears now, you will uproot the seed. So let the tears and the seed grow together. Let them grow together. Pastor, Sasa, 
uondaa kutuambia at hii weakness na mimi tuendelee kukua pamoja ah na kuambia exactly hivi hii weakness uko nayo ni ya hii level ukienda level ingine, weakness ingine itakuja kama hii inashuka lakini the more unajaribu kupambana na hii hutaielewa achana nayo concentrate on who you are in Christ the bible says the flesh and the spirit are in constant battle on a daily basis how does the flesh how does the spirit overcome the flesh not by killing the flesh but by strengthening the spirit that is how you overcome the flesh hauwezi sema mimi nimeamua hii hii mwili yangu hii nitaimaliza baba naomba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo hii mwili ikufe tutakuzika i tell you that tutakuzika we will we will we will bury you that is not how you kill the flesh you kill the flesh by going into the presence of god and strengthening the spirit when you strengthen your spirit in prayer strengthen your spirit in worship strengthen your spirit in the presence of god your flesh will always give way to the power of god because the power of god is too strong for our mortal body i repeat the power of god is too strong for our mortal body Tuseme amen. Ndio maana unaona sasa zile uwepo umefshuka. Mtu anaekelewa mikono anaanguka sio ngeye kusuri sarakasi zenye mnalazimishaga watu waende chini. Ah. Na unge kuhusu reality mali upako ukikuja unakutaga mtu amelala tu amelala one hour chini. Hiyo sio pepo. Hiyo ni nguvu ya Mungu. Mwili haiwezi kashikilia. Ndio maana Musa saa zile alipanda juu ya mlima wakakutana na Jo akaambia Mungu mimi nataka nikuone ah, because umeonesha hao watu your works umeonesha mimi njia zako mimi saa hii nimechoka na kuongeleshwa na mtu ambaye simjui na sijamuona I want to see you Mungu akamwambia no one sees me and lives again eh, No one sees me and survives Everyone that sees me dies because your mortal body cannot handle my presence mm na tuko chache mm na tumeimba sifa mm na tumeomba mm na ukiomba unafaa kuona vile unakaa Unakaaga ni kama wewe ndio Mungu. Umekunja uso kabisa umetumia mpaka mishipa. Mtu akianga ukidhani hiyo ndio presence ya Mungu. Uki encounter Mungu my friend, hata ukiwa kwa choo hutokagi unakaaga huko. Watu wanakuja vipi unamwambia ah ah. Alinikamata nikiwa najisaidia. Si kutoka because inaitwa the presence of God. Na Musa saa zile alikut, ali, Mungu alimwambia hakuna uon, mtu uona uso wangu anaishi lakini because ume demand sana wacha nikupatie nafasi uone mgongo Mungu akapita Musa akaona mgongo Musa akaona mgongo Bible inasema alitokea kwa wana wa Israeli walikuwa hivi ai 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 Musa umetoka wapi jameni hatuwezi tukakuona because the Bible says his face lit like the sun because of the glory of God because of the glory of God. Tuacheni sarakasi kanisani. Usikuje hapa kutafuta uwepo wa Mungu, tafuta uwepo wa Mungu nyumbani, kuja hapa tuifanyishe kazi. Because mnakujaga hapa ni kama hapa kuna tank ya ku withdraw. Ni kama mmekuja kufungua ati baba sasa achilie uwepo. Uwepo haupatikani hapa. Hili ni jengo, kanisa ni wewe. Sasa Na waambie hivyo ndio tuko mae somebody say amen Na waambie hivyo ndio tuko mae ndio tukikutana hapa chochote tunaitisha hata ule mwenye hana anapokea inakuwa ni kama ni sosa amepewa because saa hiyo ni watu ambao wametafuta uwepo wa Bwana because they know their god Kwani Bible inasema the they that know their god shall do exploits How many exploits are you doing It depends on how you know your god 
Uko na seed? Eh. Yeye kwa ground, simple. Alafu ipatie time. Lakini sasa hapa at what is the kingdom of God like? It is like when a man puts it to the ground, then the enemy comes when they are asleep. So sleeping is not a crime. The crime of sleeping is when you oversleep and you're not resting. Somebody say amen. But when you work hard, you will always have to rest. When you do nothing, nimekwambia you'll be frustrated. The kingdom of God is when the seed is there and the tears are there. So what do you do? Jesus says, the owner of the farm says, leave it alone. Because the strategy of God is different from the strategy of man. I repeat, the strategy of God is different from the strategy of man. Because when God did anything in the Bible, it was not realistic. It was not realistic. I'm talking Martha Mambia. If you are here, hange kufa, hange kufa hata kidogo. Lakini sasa wewe unakuja saa ngapi? Yesu anatokea, yuko wapi? Hata nikikwambia yuko wapi utafanya nini? Akakuja. Akamwambia, "Toa jiwe." Ai. Eh hey boss. Saa hii siku tatu ni noma. Toeni jiwe. Ai. Come. Walikuwa mabeste. Soma Biblia. Yesu na familia Lazarus pamoja na kina Martha na Mary sister zake they were friends kumuita kando niaje umseme kufa 3 days ago hiyo kiweto unasimamisha hiyo kipofu inaona ujamaa ameenda saa hii ananuka kusema tufungue pale ile harufu itatoka hebu fikiria tena kwani sikuambia mkiamini mtauona utukufu wa Bwana akamwacha tueni jiwe Watu walielewa likaa kaangalia nani anasema tutoejiwe. Wakakujua ah huyu mwenye anasema tutoejiwe anajua ufalme wa Mungu unakaa namna gani. The strategy of God does not work like the strategy of man because the mind of God and the mind of man the Bible says they are so far apart like the the, the earth and the heavens. Hasa wewe kuna vile unataka ku na issues za life yako na kuna vile Mungu anataka ku na issues za life yako. And the problem is we do not understand the strategy of God. That is why we keep on trying to save ourselves with our own strategy and we are not able to listen to the strategy of God. Joshua, I want you to go and capture the city. Oh yes Lord. What do you want me to do? Niko na panga hapa. Nifanye nini? Anaamba relax. Hakuna vitu mingi. Zunguka tu hiyo mji mara moja kila siku. Hai. Na hii ni ujinga, hii ni wana. Aki ana wewe fikiria. Unaambiwa kamata mji, alafu Mungu anakuambia hakuna vita. Zunguka tu mara moja, alafu unazunguka tu. Mkizunguka kila siku mara moja kama mmenyamaza, eh, hey, mwende mlale. Hai. Mpaka akifika usiku. The next day wanaambiwa niaje saa za kuzunguka imefika. Mpaka inabidi Joshua wakae waulizane. Enyewe hii ya Mungu ni gani bana? Hii ni utoto. Tutachukuaje muji tukizunguka hivyo? Hii ni to strategy ya Mungu. Atasaliwa na zunguka siku ya saba Mungu anawaambia, "Mkizunguka siku ya saba, zungukeni mara saba. Sasa zile bemaliza, mupige kelele, alafu kuta zitaanguka." Watu wanakaa wanaona hii ni kama ni joke, lakini watu imani, they that know their God, wanakaa wanajua this is the strategy of God. I will do what God wants me to do because by the end of the day, what has to be done, I will not do it. He will do it for me. So what do you want done in your life? Give God the ability to exercise his strategy over your life. Vitu tunalilia zingine hatufai kwa tunalia. Hatufai kwa tunalia. Tunafaa kwa tumeachia Mungu, tunamwambia Mungu, wewe ndio uko in control hapa. Fanya vile unaona sawa. Fanya vile unaona sawa. Eh sasa sisi tunakaa tunaona nikiachia Mungu anaweza chelewa. Wao umejaribu sasa hii miaka ngapi? 14 ukisema Mungu anaweza chelewa ungeachia Mungu mwaka wa kwanza mwaka wa pili angekuwa amekujibu sasa sasa hizi tuko 10 years down the line uko pale wewe Mungu kwa jina la Yesu acha kelele relax angalia strategy yake inafanya kazi namna gani the fact that mnaimba praise and worship pamoja mtu asiwadanganye mtu asiwadanganye Mungu hata wako wa maisha yenu the same 
mtaseme amen Mungu hata work the same so ukiona unabaki sio Mungu anakuchukia uko na strategy ya Mungu gani how does god work in your life because the way god works in your life he will not work in my life hakuna utoshai kuja wakatoa twins twin 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 testimonies ati ati testimony mapacha bwana asifiwe sana mimi nilikuja hapa nikaombewa nikaenda nikaitwa nikapewa mwingine bwana asifiwe sana mimi nilikuja hapa nikaenda nikaombewa nikakuja hapa nikaombewa nikaenda nikapewa nikapata eh nani hakuna kila mtu na design yake bwana asifiwe sana nilikuja hapa nikaomba so si wote tulikuja hapa tukaomba eh nilikuja hapa nikiomba oh so si wote tulikuja tukaombewa hapa eh halafu ile tulienda strategy Mungu haizi run short of ideas ana ideas mingi za ku make your life better ni wewe ukubali ideas zake zifanye kazi zako weka kando and you need understand vizuri sija kuambia kama una idea weka kando hapana the things you are pursuing in life allow god to work in your life as you pursue the kingdom of god is like a man who goes and puts the seed to the ground and then they go to sleep and when they are asleep the enemy comes and plants tears next to the seed why because the seed that was planted was a good seed and after that akasema mpanzi akasema hivi usingoe achana nazo let them grow together this is the truth you will never begin anything good in your life alafu ikwe demon free devil free satan free problem free trouble free hakuna kitu kama free dem, demon life hakuna kitu kama free trouble life hakuna he life lazima kuna kitu napambana nayo ndio ukisema i am a winner i am a victor there must be something you want in life pasta si nimepigana sana eh labda wewe ni jacob mwenye nilikuwa na preach last time kuzaliwa ni vita kuchukua fastball ni vita kuoa vita ingine watoto wake akipata msichana wa kipekee msichana anarepiwa vijana wake nao akikuwa wanauza wana mmoja wao yani vita all through ina depend na anointing yako na kana namna gani sasa shida labda na uona pigana na vita moja for a very long time because hujafungua macho kuona vita yako iko pale pale 2001 that was your war until today 2016 it is still the same war there must be a problem you are in the same level kitufanya jani inakuwa interesting sio kwa sababu unapandaga the same hill <laughs> ni kwa sababu unapanda mlima moja unateremka ingine alafu unapata tambarare unateremka ingine unapanda ingine unapata tambarare yani this hauendagi round in circles the reason why life inakuwa ga frustrating and boring it is because kuna mahali nafika na the only thing unafanya ni unapandaga mlima ule ule na haijawahi isha kupandwa mpaka wale umejaribu kila kitu e bwana u ni nuwe kwa imani nisimame ni pande milima yote na mlima ni ile ile ni kwa sababu level ni ile ile pindukia mwanzako mwambie hiyo ni challenge usisahau mbegu imepandwa na inakuwa na magugu iko next Alafu Yesu anasema ziacho pamoja hazina shida because hii mbaya haiezi affect hii hi nzuri limepandwa wacha zikae pamoja alafu ndakuonesha saa ya kutoa simple hiyo shida mwachie unataka ku deal nayo endelea mimi ndakwambia reality unataka hiyo shida iishe mwachie So mwana umejaribu umejaribu kila kitu mpaka sasa hii unakaa unaona uchawi naweza ama haiwezi because umejaribu kila kitu umeomba ukafunga uka, kila kitu mpaka ume address as a problem ndio hii niambia reality leo the moment you begin dealing with things out of god's consent 
constant maana yake out of god's instruction or guidance you will always mess the question is did god tell you to confront it or he told you leave it to me Moses alika kaona ya kwamba adui ametokea yuko pande hii alafu pande hii ni Red Sea Bible inasema ya kwamba alika kaangalia because alikuwa anajua Mungu wake alipindukia wana Israeli akawaambia listen to me do not fight hold your peace stand and seal the salvation of the Lord and hold your peace maana yake hold your peace usingangane relax because ukipigana anytime kuna war in any country hakunaga pesa Watu hawezi kula washibe. Kuna ukame. Lakini ukukiwa na amani unakuta watu wananona. Pesa ziko na maisha inaendelea poa. Sasa aliwaambia, "Hold your peace. Why? Because by the end of the day, God will fight for you." Some of the things we've tried fighting for ourselves, we've lost so much to a point we have been frustrated na tunakaa tunaangalia. Mimi yake ya nani Mungu asiponifanyia 2016, 2017 na backslide. Na mimi na encourage backslide kabisa. Because hakuna mahali uta affect Mungu aache kuwa Mungu niona fa kukaa na ukomae na understand iko vitu kuna strategy ya Mungu inafaa ifanye kazi kwa maisha yako what, uh, uh, what which privilege have you given God in your life for him to, uh, to uh, exercise his strategy in you Hata zikuwe pamoja kwani shida iko wapi nani alikwambia wa Kristo wote wako kanisani wameokoka si wamesimama Statistics zinasema 40% of Christians in Kenya wanaishi kama we stay. Hizo ni statistics. Tuwafukuze kanisani. Ah, kujeni. Kuje okai. Hiyo ni reality. Hiyo ni Kenya peke yake. 40% ya Christians remo shekerere wa shiriri bakoro kama we stay. Kujeni tunene pamoja. Hoja keiba kujeni tukemee mapepo pamoja. Tofauti tu ni kwamba we are both growing. The difference is are you a weed or are you a seed? If you are a seed, you are going to be harvested. If you are a weed, you are going to be uprooted. So I pray in the name of Jesus, let every seed be harvested in Jesus name. Somebody shout amen. Hende injili Yesu alikuwa anapiga ya watu wanakomaa. Kwa sababu kweli niwaambie ukweli hapa leo today sio kila mtu hapa hapa. Hata uone ufalme. Yende ukweli. Hasan Jumini mhubiri sifa kuisema wacha niseme because lazima kila mtu ujitayarishe. Haujui ni lini any day any time. Bible inasema ga hakuna mtu anajua saa wala wakati ambapo atakuwa. Eh, so kila mtu anagoja gasukia tarumbeta papa 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 iko watu walienda jana na accident. Ililia jana yao. Sisemu unaenda kesho lakini ni vizuri ukue tayari. Because Bible inasema ga wawili watakuwa pamoja. Mmoja ataenda mwingine atabaki maana yake, mmoja atavunwa na mwingine atabaki angolewe. Ai So reality ndio hii. Tuimbe pamoja. You are alpha. Toa harmony lakini ukweli. Wewe ni mbegu ama wewe ni magugu? Sasa hata kuuliza huyu, jiulize. I say, mimi ni mbegu ama mimi ni magugu? Mimi ni gani? Maana mmoja wetu lazima avuli, a, a, avunwe na mwingine lazima angolewe. Lazima mmoja angolewe na mwingine avunwe na haiko kwa kwenye gala. Sasa we ni gani? Hata mapasta, tuko wengi. God will move in your life. Hey, move kabisa. Lakini kuna wale wa kungolewa na kuna wale wa kuvunwa. <laughs> I say tukihubiri hii injili tukijua Yesu anakuja, wa Kristo atakoma. Tukihubiri hii injili tukijua maside sinakuja mtakuwa na utoto. Wona gojea maside kuliko vile unagojea Yesu. Na Yesu hajakwambia gojea maside amekwambia jitayarishe kwa kukuja kwangu. <laughs> Kama kuna kitu Yesu ametuambia tujitayarishe ni hiyo peke yake. I am coming back. 
prepare. Others come and baraka. Alisha kwambia, the blessings will come and they will overtake you. Yet, at Goja New Testament, aliyakikisha iko kwa Deuteronomy 28. Unaisomia tu huko mwanzo huko huko. Juaga tu hiyo iko. Lakini kukuja kwangu tafadhali. Mwisho wa Matthew, mwisho wa Mark, mwisho wa Luke na mwisho wa John ali make sure gospel ndio ikamilike. Lazima mjuaise jitayarisheni na ku. Tungekuwa tunahubiri injili na reference anarudi mngekuwa mmekoma. Lakini kila saa kama tunahubiri na reference ya kwamba utapokea, utapokea. Utapokea ukienda hell. Afadhali ukose ukienda heaven kuliko ujae nazo ukienda hell Hata mtamusposema amen nasema amen on your behalf Magugu na ngano the weed the tear and the seed zote zikae pamoja But when the time for the harvest comes first of all we must uproot the weed. Bring it together. Burn it. Then take the seed. Harvest it. And put it in the storehouse of the Lord. God is not preparing you for your death. He's preparing you for your eternity with this in mind. A hundredfold here and later on everlasting life. It is the will of God for you to succeed here. And the only way you will succeed is when you understand the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God is just as I have explained. Mbaya iko na nzuri iko. Kwa ni mungu hakuwa na uwezo kusimamisha Lucifer. Ambe Lucifer come. Come to onge. Kiburi si nzuri. Najua nataka kuni overthrow lakini kiburi. Mungu alikaa kaona no. Unge kwa msherati yapa, yo tungeongea. Unge kwa muizi yapa, tungeongea. Kiburi. Mungu onge agi na kiburi. He does not speak with pride. Anasema, I resist the proud. I resist them. I, I, I resist them. Alafu baadae tunakuja tunamba resist the devil and he will flee. Sasa mungu mwenye anasema I resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Ukisike mungu anasema I resist the proud. Hana nafasi ya ata kubagain na watu wakona kiburi. Na watu wakona kiburi ni wala wanakujaga kwa ibada. Wa kristo ambao wanakaga hivyo na wanakaa. Waja unasike mubiru utasema aje leo. Ninini sijui. Ninini sijui. Ongea, ongea, ongea. Iyo najua. Iyo najua. Iyo siko shua, lazima nene nitafute. Eh, katu, ni kama wendi yo mungu na ubiria. Hata mimi zingine unathani likuwa nimesikia huko, zingine zinakamsa, hipe mina land. Badae nda chukua hii tepe ni ene ni kai ni jione. Na si, sita jione ni kama mimi. Nda kani yone, hapo mungu amenenea pia. Kwa sababu gani, kwa hii kingdom, kiburi, mungu wanaga na fasi ya kiburi ya tol. Ukitaka kumalizika haraka, usikunyo rat rat, kuwa tuna kiburi. Ye unaisha fasta. Faraka sana. Anasema, I resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Maana yake, mungu haba gain na mtu wakona kiburi. Na ndi maana watu ngini wana shindagwa. Huyu mtu wameshikwa na kashfa. Mingi sana tumeziona. Na bado haendi chidi ni kwa sababu. Anadha kwa na kashfa lakini moyo menyanyakea. Daudi ni for example. Amekuja, Daudi. Enye Daudi alifanya vitu. He was evil. David was one of the most evil kings. Laini nini, kitu ilifanya Eli, mungu wa mmalize, siyo kitu ingine, kiburi. Kitu ilifanya Sauli, mungu wa mmalize, siyo kitu ingine, kiburi. Kitu ilifanya mungu, siyo avumilie, aa, apende mbaka Daudi. Akwena neema na Daudi ni kwa sababu Bible na sama, the heart of David was after the heart of God. In other words, moyo wako likuwa mevunjika, vunjika mbele za buwana to a point. Ata amefanya makosa kiwango gani, lakini kwa sababu manyanyekea, lazima neema ingekua. I give grace to the humble. I give grace to the humble. Mungu kila nataka kutoka kwako, haitaji ulie the whole day ufunge siku tano anahitaji tu kubali kukuwa chini ya mtu nyenyekea uoneshwe njia simple 
For this is like the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. I believe you have been blessed so far by word insight from Rod and Fire Maximum Miracle Center. I want to give you an opportunity to experience what you have been experiencing for the past years. What is that? The man, Jesus Christ, being your Lord and your personal Savior. You want to give your life to Jesus? Kindly repeat this prayer after me in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Forgive me for every sin I have committed against you. Tonight, I repent with all my heart. And I declare with my mouth, Jesus died and rose again. I am born again. I am born again in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you because of this believer who has just surrendered their life to you. I pray in the name of Jesus, you are not going to backslide. I declare you are not going to backslide. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I saturate you with the power of God that from tonight you are going to experience God in a bigger and a mightier way in the name of Jesus. No demon, no devil will interrupt your life, but you are going to flow with Jesus all the days of your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My viewer, you just received Jesus as your personal savior. My prayer and my urge to you. There is a number on the bottom of this screen right now. 0711-359-478. Kindly call that number, text that number, WhatsApp that number. We will get back to you. We have beautiful gifts we want to give you for receiving Jesus to help you grow. And what are those gifts? We have wonderful Bibles to give unto you. There are youths in this church who sat and said, we are going to sponsor as many as we can with Bibles. They buy Bibles and we give out Bibles to people who are born again. Kindly call that number right now. We are waiting. Call that number, WhatsApp that number, or text that number, and we will give this beautiful gift of a Bible unto you. Because the only gift we can give to you right now when you're born again is the Word of God. Kindly call that number. Communicate to us on Facebook. We are on Facebook, Rod and Fire. We are also on Facebook through my page. It is written Pastor Young or Andrew Muiru or Andrew Muiru Jr. Whichever page you decide to use as they appear on your screen, kindly use those pages and we will get back to you and we will be able to intermingle with you and interact with you because we have many activities going on in our church. God bless you and see you when you call us in Jesus' name. God bless you. We love you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.